Hi there guys, in today's video we're going to be quickly looking at how to set the point and direction of your path. And this will be for TrueCut RD Works. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, back on the program here. Now, just a quick reminder, this is a mini-series on the cutting and out um, feature. And I'll also be leaving relevant links in the description so you guys can actually follow along. Now, when it comes to setting the point and direction, we have covered this before in previous videos. But um, I thought it's worthwhile covering it again for this mini-series. Seeing that it's quite important when you're working with um, your cut in and out direct, I mean, cut in and out uh, feature. So now in order to set them, um, we first need our actual shape we selected that we want to set them for. And at the moment, as you guys can see, the cut in is coming from, um, it's going in a clockwise direction and the point is the left over here. So now in order to set that, I want to go to my edit bar on my main menu, or edit menu should I say. We go down and then we have these two options, set cut point and set cut direction so let's first enable set cut point if i click this you will notice we cannot click on anything easily we can't make selection boxes so this can be rather frustrating if you've by accident gone into it if we go on the edit bar you will see it's there and if you click it it does not deactivate it so i've had it before where i got stuck in this and didn't know how to get out and it's quite simple to get out so we'll cover that as well but now with that enabled what we want to do is select our um, object that we want to set the cut point for and now the trick here is you must really click right on that line if you just click off to one enable it so that is something to keep in mind and then what you want to do is with we've got these four node points so i'm going to select the top one and double click that point i'll zoom in here and you guys can see how the cut uh, point changes so if i double click that now this is our starting point so the laser will start here and cut around and end over there. You can obviously make it any one of the other points, but for the sake of this video tutorial, I'm going to leave it at the top. The next up, what we want to do is to actually exit this. So um, like I mentioned, if you uh, go to the edit and you choose it, it doesn't exit it. So we have to actually just press escape. It is that simple. Press escape and now we're out of it. Now you'll see we're back to normal selection mode and so forth. Now when we want to set the actual direction, it's the same thing. We go to edit and we go down to set cut direction. Now with that enabled, it works the same as before. So I have to really click on this line in order to have it um, visible, which I am having difficulty now. Uh, let me try zooming, maybe I'm a bit. Here we go. Now what you want to do simply double click on the line and then it will change the direction so now it's going anti-clockwise our start point and now it's going clockwise so if for some reason your um, line is going the wrong way or not wrong just another way you can change it by this method so double click it double click it. but i'm gonna keep mine um, clockwise for now just so that when we follow along with the tutorial then you uh, cut in when i speak about that and cut out it will make more sense so once again, just press escape to confirm that, and then we are set. Now what we can do is, uh, yeah, we'll carry on. We'll be looking in our next video with the actual cut in line, how to work with it. But for the meanwhile, if we head here to the website softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares to cover, and you can also isolate your search on the top right. If you do not, however, find the training videos you're looking for, just go here, request the training video, fill in the mini form, and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching, and cheers.